when dealing with algebra in this section, it's important to look back at some basic facts uh, around algebra. The first side here, we're going to look at collecting like terms, and that involves adding and subtracting terms in algebra. So if you look at this first example, we've got x plus x plus x. And when adding terms together, you just collect them up and work out how many you've got. Now you can add terms that are exactly the same, you can't add terms that are different. So x plus x plus x is 3, lots of x, so we write it like this. The 3 goes in the front, uh, not behind, and the x next to it. Now this means the same as 3 multiplied by x. If I said in this case x was 2, then 2 plus 2 plus 2 would be 6. And in this case here it would be 3 times 2, which makes 6. So this is a simplified version of the x plus x plus x. Okay, in the next one, we've got five lots of m and we take away three lots of m. Again, an easy way to look at it is we've got five, I don't know, mice, you could say, take away three mice and you would have two left, so we'd write two m. Okay, in this next example, what you need to do is you need to collect up the letters that are exactly the same. Now, it's important to look at the sign before each term. So in the term, in case of the a's, we've got a 5a and we've got a takeaway 2a. This takeaway is associated with the 2a here. So we've got 5 takeaway 2, which makes 3 a's. And then if you look at the b's, we've got a plus b and a plus 3b, that makes 4b's. So plus 4b. In this next example here, we can look at the y's first, and there's no more y's to add or subtract from this one. But there are numbers, uh, numbers of the same terms, so we can collect them up. We've got a 16 and a takeaway 4. So that would cancel down to 16 takeaway 4, which is 12. So we have really 3y plus 12, or 12 plus 3y. In this case, we can see that writing it in a different order really doesn't matter. Um, it does if you've got negative signs involved in it. Um, you have to be careful with that. But up here, 4b would be, or this would be the same as 4b plus 3a. That would be the same thing. What we do try to do now in algebra is write it in alphabetical order. And usually we write the numbers last, but we've not done that in this case. Right, this last example here looks much more complicated, but it's the same idea. You've got 2n squared, you've got another 2n squared, and another 2n squared. So all together, you've got 6n squared. Okay, let's look at uh, multiplying algebra. So 6 times e, that's the same as this idea here. So 6 times e can be written as 6e. t times 4, again, that can be written as 4t. Notice the number's always at the front. It doesn't matter if the multiplier is at the end here. It always goes in front of the letter. Now, when you multiply uh, an algebraic term by itself, then we say that it's squared. The same applies to numbers. 3 times 3 we can be written as 3 with a wee 2 above it. So m times m is m squared. Right, 5n times 8n. The way to do this is to do the 5 uh, times the 8 first. That's going to be 40. And uh, then do the n times the n. And that's n squared. So it's going to be 40n squared. Again, do the numbers first. So we've got a 7 here. And a 3, which 7 times 3 makes 21. And a times b is just ab. If you're multiplying two letters in algebra and they're different, you just sit them next to each other. And that means times. So unlike terms, terms that are not the same cannot be added. You can't add them together. Uh, you just sit them next to each other, like this example here. You collect up your a's and collect up your b's. But you, you can't make it 7ab. You have to keep them separate. But they can be multiplied. In this case here at the bottom, 7a times 3b, you can make 21ab. 